Have you heard that ionized alkaline water with a high pH, purple water, could be detrimental to your health? Well, if you've heard that and you've seen the back of the unit here, I'll show you. It says, caution, do not drink alkaline water if you have kidney problems such as kidney failure. Then it goes on and on and on. It talks about more issues you might experience while drinking it to stop drinking it immediately. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about that and this new research article that came out. There's clinical studies, there's 10 years of information here. I'm gonna put a link down below. So just click the link, you get all of the information here. So let's go ahead and walk through why drinking high alkaline water could be damaging to your health. Safety of high pH water. So what is high pH water? Well, according to the World Health Organization and the EPA, they recommend do not drink water that exceeds 8.5. So as you probably know already, this unit here goes from 8.5 all the way up to 11.5. I remember when I had my very first event, I've got 300 people in the room and I've got a naturopath doctor on stage and she's telling everyone in the audience to drink 11.5. There's a salt chamber over here. You have to actually add salt in it in order to get that pH. And she said, keep the salt in there. I said, well, the company says, don't drink that. It's not good for you. She's like, they don't want you to know. So she said, the company doesn't want to be liable for what could happen, but she's here to tell you that it's actually good for you. And if you have all these health issues that you should drink at least a quart a day of the 11.5. And so now that we know what we know, we do not recommend anybody drinking anything over here, 8.5, but anything over 9.8 is where the, the toxicity really starts happening. So when you have the 9.5 here, you think, oh, you're, you're safe, right? You're not getting anything over 9.8. Well, when we have more calcium in the water, potassium, magnesium, all the alkaline minerals, you're gonna have a higher pH because it concentrates the minerals coming out the alkaline hose, especially if you do not have a pre-filter or you're not changing your filter on a regular basis. And the slower the water flows, the more concentrated it becomes, the higher the pH. Because here, these are just references, they're not, they're not accurate. And so that's what I wanna do next, is I'm gonna actually go through here these this 9.5, I'm gonna slow the flow, I'm gonna make it faster, I'm gonna test it with our digital meter. But here's what the studies are saying about the high pH waters and causing issues. Here, potentially harm effects, growth and retardation. This happened only in animal studies and drinking very high pH water consistently. Then there was tissue necrosis and damage, this was only in animal studies. This, this could be due to the electrode, uh, the electrodes breaking down. We have platinum toxicity nano platinum particles that are in the water. This also will depend on the electrodes, the purity, the voltage, duration, etc. Accumulation of harmful substances in the water because you know that the water filter here is getting out lead, chlorine, not all of it though, but there's arsenic, there's pharmaceuticals, there's all the other heavy metals in there. There's now PFOS in everybody's water. So it's definitely something you wanna watch for, but you must have a pre-filter. If you're gonna get one of these units, get a pre-filtration system to go ahead of it because it's not an adequate filter. You don't want you don't want harmful substances in drinking water. Impaired mineral and vitamin and nutrient absorption. So this is unlikely for healthy individuals, but easy to induce with ingestion of high volume pH water. So especially if you're older and you don't have the stomach acid and your body, if you're, if you're drinking that, it's gonna have problems with the next spot here, which is overgrowth of bacterial that are in your gut. Too much bad bacteria because your stomach acid is acid for a reason. And when you eat food, your body wants to break it down using the stomach acid. Also killing any bacteria, any parasites, anything that's there. Well, if you're diluting your stomach acid, now your body's not killing the bad bacteria and have overgrowth of the bad bacteria, which will lead to a lot of colon issues. So don't drink this type of water, especially with your meals. Then we have hyperkalemia. This is observed in animals and humans. If the pH goes over 10, so that is a potassium issue. So your body actually doesn't balance the potassium, it can end up heart issues or a cause of that. And that number one killer in the whole US is heart disease. So that is not good. Excessive thirst commonly reported when the pH exceeds 10. The reason this happens is because it breaks down the mucosal lining. And so it causes you to get really thirsty. We also have acid reflux. So some individuals it's gonna help, but other individuals actually makes it worse. So we're gonna actually go through these different different pHs here and I want to find out with a digital meter if this is accurate. Because as you know, the slower the water flow, the more concentrated the pH becomes 
and the more problems you're gonna have if you're drinking the high pH water over a long period of time. So let's go ahead and jump into that next. All right, what we're gonna do now is we have a digital pH pen, and we're gonna look first at the tap water because I wanna get to see what the tap water going in is. Normal tap water falls about seven to eight, depending on where you're living. There could be more mineral concentration here. So we have, it appears to be about 7.7. .7. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that water and I'm gonna take it through this Kanga machine. And we wanna make sure there's a solid light, not blinking, because otherwise it's really not being ionized. I want to show you too how the Kangen community is going to let you know how to run the water. This is how I was telling people as well. So the faster the water goes to the machine, the less time it has to come in contact with the electrodes and the less hydrogen you're going to make. We're talking about the pH right now. So according to those studies, when you slow the flow like they suggest you do, you're going to have more hydrogen, but you're also going to increase the pH because you have slower, it has more time to give you those more minerals, more alkalinity. And so according to this unit, we are at 9.5 right now. And in order to test that, we're gonna do two different tests. We're gonna put our meter in here. And then we're also going to take our vial here. And it's already going up to 9.7, 9.8. We're putting the drops in there. These are phenol red pH drops. I'm sure you're all familiar with them. So according to here, we are purple, right? According to here, we're at a 10.0. The pH is a logarithmic scale, so each jump you go up is 10,000 times stronger than the previous. So at 9.5, you're at 9.5, and now you're five times. So that's 50,000 times more alkaline than the 9.5. And according to those studies, go through them, anything over 9.8 starts breaking down the nano particles of platinum into the water. And so that's definitely something you want to be concerned about. And you think here you're drinking 9.5, well, you're actually drinking 10. And according to the World Health Organization and the EPA, they recommend not drinking any water over 8.5. So we are now, we've seen that, there's a 10 and we are gonna go with the tap water here. I just wanna see if it falls in line with our earlier test with our instrument. So this is the tap water and if it's green or blue, that means it's typically output. So I believe our meter came out with about 7.7, .7, so that falls right in line with that. So there you have it. The Kangen water machine is not accurately testing the pH, therefore you're getting a lot higher alkalinity than you thought, which could be damaging to your body according to all the latest research. So if you're concerned about that, you want to know more about the hydrogen aspect then visit us at healthyhydration.com to find out about all the different therapies. Not only can you drink the water, you can breathe the gas, you can put it in your ears, you can put it in your eyes, it's 100% safe. We don't need to increase the pH, you don't have to worry about all the maintenance that's coming along with that, as well as the filtration system we're gonna find behind our units are very robust. All right, well thank you for liking and sharing and turning on that bell here on YouTube, really appreciate you being a follower and we'll see you in the next video.